Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to go to the refrigerator and scramble some eggs for me. <laughs> Just joking. It's way past breakfast time. Well, depending on where you're at. But you can give me that good energy by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Terror. So I'm going to slap down the holy water. Mm -hmm. Birthday soup tarot today because it's hot, hot, hot. Oh, let me show you my beautiful point. Do you like my beautiful point? Isn't that a beautiful dandy there? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. She is very beautiful. Heavy, too. Very heavy. <laughs> anyway, enough about my crystal sessions here. <laughs> I have a crystal session every day before I do this. Mm -hmm, I do. So, you know what time it is. Birthday suit tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all stay in your birthday suits. We'll do this together today. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming toward you, you beautiful mother trucker out there. I see you. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. So, uh, <laughs> whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, we're going to quit that shit together. I don't know what I'm, what's going on and why I'm feeling so goofy today. I feel like a, like a childhood, like a child today for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the birthday suit. <laughs> Show! Oh. Three cups. Three cups. Three cups. Show me the energy of the person of you. Two cups. Two cups. If the ace of cups flies out, I'm leaving their eating. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person mom to you. Oh my goodness. Show me the energy of the person. Justice card. Thank you, uh, Lady Justice, for the gavel bag. Okay, okay. So, the uh, down on the table, well, as I've been singing. We've got three cups, two cups, justice card. The overall energy for the reading is the nine of swords here. Okay, so somebody is not sleeping right now. Somebody's feeling worried here. They're kind of depressed. Okay, there's anxiety involved. Lots of insecurities. I just noticed I have ten mosquito bites on me. Good Lord, have mercy. I'll have to pull out my sap here that Ramona made me. So somebody's worried about something here. Three cups, okay. But three cups uh, could be a good a card of pregnancy, also, okay. Just to let you know here, just in case. I don't know. Maybe somebody could be pregnant here. Um, three of cups here, though. It is all about getting together and having fun, going out on the town, drinking. Maybe going out in the pumpkin field, sitting around drinking. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe somebody wants you to come over. Maybe uh, you're going to be asking somebody to come over. Well, I, I don't know. I think this person wants to see you. Two cups. Okay. This is a strong soulmate connection. This is where you guys meet cup to cup, eye to eye, cheek to cheek, nose to nose. This is uh, healing energy coming off of this here. Okay. So we've got the Lady Justice here. Okay. Justice card is, uh, well, Lady Justice, she welds the sword of truth. Um, she is the seeker of truth. Um, and, um, you know, it's like the uh, all-seeing eye of providence. You know, God's all-seeing eye, the eye of providence, right? That's the eye of providence. I made that, by the way. <laughs> but she sees and she seeks out the truth here. Oh, sorry about the light today. It's dark in here because i got to have the shades pulled because of the uh, heat. 
Uh, so I got the blackouts going on and minimal light in here today. I probably should break out my photography light is what I should do. Photography lights. I might do that here after this reading. Um, but anyway, the Justice card is all about, you know, balancing the scales. It's a, somebody could be going to court here. Maybe somebody wants to elope here. I don't know. We're going to get it. We're going to find out what's going on here. Okay. Okay. So I think we're going to talk to these three cups, then probably bounce over to Lady Justice, and then we'll talk to those two cups. So let's start out on three cups. Why is three cups here, Pisces person's energy? What's going on here with three cups? Okay. Hold on. Let me put my peso there. Okay. I'm going to get one more on that. Uh, three cups with the Queen of Wands, please. Sure. All right. Looks like somebody here, Pisces. Uh, yeah. Somebody's coming in. Uh, they're feeling very attractive, okay? This person here, um, it's like a, they're feeling super attractive right now, okay? They're in their feminine energy here, too, by the way, okay? So this person's probably grooming themselves here, looking good, uh, got one out and got their dress dry cleaned, and uh, they're all razzle-dazzled here, and it looks like... Uh, Somebody here is, you know, wanting to balance something out here, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, somebody could be wanting to give you something. But Six of Pentacles, it can all... It, Six of Pentacles can be a deficit here, too, okay? We're going to have to find out if this is a deficit here of equal give and take. Because you can see this is your person here. Given here to one beggar, but then the other beggar is like, Whoa, wait, well, what about me? And they're both looking at each other, Okay. So what is going on here with the Six of Pentacles, okay? Is this a deficit here? Is this a deficit? Is this Six of Pentacles a deficit? What's going on here? Oh, boy. Yeah, this has been a deficit. This has definitely been a deficit, okay? Yep. So it seems like this person here hasn't been giving to you fairly, okay? It's like you guys get together, but there is a... A lack of exchange here. It could be a lack of emotional exchange. It could be a lack of communication. It could be a lack of financial exchange. Or it could just be everything here, okay? But now this person here with death energy wants to change things. So, okay. So how are they wanting to change things with the deficit here? Why well, they want to change things with you know, this deficit here? Okay. Oh, boy with the strength card determination here determination to get a whole new perspective here on the situation okay okay so they're determined here to figure out something here and what is this person determined to figure out please show us what this person's determined to figure out what the fuck sorry guys my whole deck went like nuts it shot out like i can't even tell you like a bazooka here Okay, what are they determined here to figure out under this hangman energy? Show me what this person's determined to figure out. Sure. What are they determined to figure out? Ten Pentacles. Determined to figure out if this could be something stable here. So this is what they're coming through here. They're like, I am determined here. Like, I'm wanting some stability here, okay? There was a deficit here of me giving to the Piscean here. In the past, it was minute here, and now I'm coming in with great determination here, you know, wanting to give more to Pisces. And why is this person wanting to give more to Pisces? Oh, yeah. Because they're wanting growth here in this connection, Empress Energy here. Star card crossing that, I can't show you that because it's got a nudie on it and i got to pull out protection stones. So we just won't do that. Oh, man, I need to clean out my holy water bottle. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so they're determined to grow. This person is determined to grow here. Why is this person so determined to grow with this Empress energy? Oh, and look at that. <laughs> That's funny. I wasn't going to show you the star. <laughs> the star came out. Because that's what they're wanting, okay? Pisces, somebody here has wished for you. Yes, somebody here has literally, literally, literally wished for you here. Oh, boy. This is like something this person's been wishing for for a long time. We've got the Emperor here. Okay, all right. So I'm going to talk to Lady Justice now. 
What's going on with Lady Justice? If the lover card flies out, this person wants to marry you. <laughs> and okay, it didn't fly out. Okay, what are they determined here? Okay. I'm going to get one more on the King Cups with the Justice. What's going on here? King Cups with Justice. Sure. What's going on here? Hold on. The card shot out down here. Okay. So they're basically in a, right now, they're in a stuck energy here emotionally when it comes to justice, okay? Yeah. When it comes to balancing things out, okay? So rather than, oh boy, Pisces. Oh, jeez. More holy water, please. Is the devil here somewhere? No, it's not. But it sure feels like it because I'm drinking a lot of holy water today. Yeah, Pisces. It's like this person's up in their head here. They're feeling like they can't make any move right now. So it's like they're not making any moves here to emotionally balance out. Mm. God. Why is this person not making any moves here to emotionally balance themselves out? <clears throat> Why is this person not emotionally making any moves here? Yeah. It's the, uh, it's the emperor here. We've got the divine masculine energy uh, and the divine feminine energy here on the table. Okay, so this person here, they, it's not that they don't have love, okay? They do have love. But this person is a very stoic person here, is what's coming through here. And basically, why, why they're not making any moves is because their psyche, okay? It's like their psyche gets really affected here, okay, when it comes to emotions. So they remain stoic, okay? Oh boy, Pisces. But it's like the love doves are here, okay? So it's not like there's not love here. It's just that this person has a really hard time here, okay, with, with their emotions. They have them, okay, but they don't share them. They don't. They're stoic. This person, it's not like they lack emotions. They have them there, but they're just so stoic. Why is this person so stoic? Why is this person so stoic? Because of temperance. Yeah. Because of temperance, which makes complete sense. Because what have I been teaching you guys here and telling you here? What does temperance mean? Yes, restraint. Yes, this is why... They are so stoic. They restrain themselves here. This is what's coming through. It's not that they don't have emotions, Pisces. It's just that they are very stoic and they're using temperance here to restrain that. So why do they restrain their energy here with the temperance? Why do they restrain their energy here with the temperance? Two of swords. Yeah, because this person, it's like, this is where I'm at with my emotions. Body language. Because it makes them uncomfortable. It, emotions and talking about them makes this person completely uncomfortable. It really does. So why is this person so uncomfortable when it comes with their emotions? Why are they so uncomfortable? The world card. Boy. Boy. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. It's like they're afraid. Okay? They're afraid of... This person's afraid of transformation. I think I could go like an hour deep in on this one. This person is really afraid of transformation. This is insanity here, Pisces. I mean, this is complete insanity here. Wow. Wow. I really like to get in this person's head for a long time, for some reason. <laughs> oh, the court, you're not going to be doing that. Nobody wants to hear an hour-long reading. I just kind of said that. Jesus, she's such a bitch. Okay. All right. So why is the two cups here? Why is the two cups here in Pisces person's energy? I never see this two cups here in this person's deck. Or in this deck. Did I say this person's deck? 
two of cups here. Okay. So, Pisces, this person's been putting up a big front here. Okay. And it's been a huge, huge burden. Okay. It's, they've been putting up a front here. And it's just been a huge burden here. Why has this person uh, been putting up this front here? Why do they put up a front? Why do they put up a front? Because they're missing something here. You know, they are definitely, definitely missing something here. And I'm going to tell you here what this person is, is missing here. It's like, it's not that they don't have love. It's not that they don't have passion here. It's not like they can't give you clarity. It's like there's something here that they just can't give you, which is an opportunity here. Like a, like a pentacle. This is what's coming through on the reading. It's like they can't, they're putting up a front because they're just like, I can't give Pisces what Pisces needs here. Why does this person show up then in these readings is what I want to know. That's really what the truth of the matter is. I think a lot of you guys got somebody that's stuck on you. Stuck to you, okay? And this is why these energies show up here. It's a multitude of different energies, but they all seem to have the same common theme sometimes. And I can kind of pick it up. And this is what I'm picking up here. Oh boy, Pisces. Oh boy, what am I going to title this reading? How about, oh boy, Pisces. <laughs> oh boy, Pisces. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull the, the white sage and get the final messages here. Woo! <laughs> yeah, this person, uh, there's, there's something here that they're having to make a decision about here. There's something here that they've got. They're being forced to make a decision about here. Uh, this person's financially well off here, and they are somebody that's loyal, okay? And it's like, this person will never forget you. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So there's something around timing here that's coming out here today. So, Pisces, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tales adjourned.